All right, guys, another Diag for you. We got a 2013 Chevy Silverado. Uh, this one, as you can see, we got lights on right now. Uh, this is exactly, this is not exactly what happens. You'll see fluttering of the gauges. Uh, this gauge will be going and stuff like that. Customer complaint is when he's driving, this happens randomly. And sometimes he'll have problems starting and the car is like stuttering, going really slow, different issues like that. Uh, sometimes you'll see this P not there like it wouldn't uh, underline to show your uh, drive selection um, I could not replicate the issue when the customer uh, brought the car because the issue was gone he said sometimes he wiggles some wires near the fuse box under the hood and it kind of resolves itself so after a while just waits um, customer brought the truck and I inspected it. I went checking all uh, basically yeah what makes more sense is when I did a scan almost all of the modules were saying that the communication bus was off the high-speed bus was off right um, and for example fuel pump can't communicate with the ECM ECM can't communicate with basically everything was off losing communication I did um, as you already know you can go across the OED port and with an ohmmeter test it on 6 and 14 and you should get because you have one resistor at one end which is six, 60 ohms and the other one is uh, rather 120 ohms right and then you have another one that's 120 and when you have both those two in line it should give you 60 ohms reading once you use your meter here I'll show you in a, in a second so um, I was getting pretty much a little bit more than 60 which is fine uh, if you get 120, that means one of your legs is down. You're not reading one of the uh, resistors. Customer called me uh, again, and the problem was reoccurring at the at the moment because I inspected all the wiring. I couldn't find any obvious tails where you know there was some damage to the cam bus wiring or anything like that. I went all into the frame rail of the truck. Um, when I went, I did a scan, and I can communicate with the engine control module and the TCM but no communication with the body control module and any of the, the devices that run across the, the frame, frame rail like the uh, fuel pump control module, anything like that. So I started to suspect the BCM might be at fault. So you know the CAN bus is pretty much split into two legs on this truck. Um, they use this, uh, it's like junction block is what it's called under here. So you've got, this is the actual junction block. I pulled it down. It sits something like this. You can see that. Uh, there's uh, two clips here on the side. You just push them. You don't need any tools to pull this down and it'll be sitting like this. You push the clips in like that and then you can pull it down and it sits in these little slots on the ground. Uh, anyway, this slot here is where your CAN bus is. And it's these last four are your two CAN bus networks. I'll show you a diagram of that here in a second. Okay, guys, if you saw the drawings, here's what I did. Right now, at this moment, the problem is not currently occurring. So what I did, I went ahead at the uh, ABS module, which is pretty much right here under the frame, and disconnected the ABS. And when I did that, that was kind of to simulate the similar issue that was happening in the case that there was a break in the wiring or damage in the wiring right there to see if I would get the exact same issue. Here's what's happening, though. Um, it does look very similar. Um, everything that it's doing... Uh, that little flickering is just the camera by the way. It's not flickering um, But everything is similar except for the gauges are not fluctuating and uh, The car car is not really stalling Well, here's what's different as well when I disconnected the ABS module It looks very similar in the scans, but the BCM is is showing active and I can communicate with the BCM and that part is fine which is different from when the error occurs so what does that mean? Uh, I tested the uh, OBD port when the um, error did happen and I was reading as one of the two legs was 
off of the network, right? That's with the key out of the car and everything. So that, that points to something physical, right? It could mean damaged wiring um, or even a bad module that could be bringing one of the legs down. So um, I've come to the conclusion. I went in and reinspected all the wiring and I did not see anything along this leg of the wiring where I know there's an issue um, because when the air occurs, the, the second leg that goes to the front engine bay that has the TCM and the um, the uh, engine control module, that always stays up. Um, and can, I can communicate. It's just the second leg that runs along the driver um, right there where it connects to the, the frame and goes all the way down to the fuel pump control module at the back. That is where these these are the ones that are off of the network, including the body control module, which is literally right here as well. Now, the body control module should not go down. Now that the body control module is going down with this area, it tells me something. Um, either the body control module somehow is bringing down the network on that side or a device on that network is bringing down the body control module with it, right? Uh, there is a link. Uh, it's a blue line. If you looked at the diagram, um, you could probably go back and look at it and you'll see that the body control module has, I believe it's like a wake up to the, um, the ABS module and a couple other modules on that leg of the network. So it could be, that's where the issue is. It could be a bad DCM. At this point, I have a lot of doubt that it's the wiring because the way the wiring looks completely intact under, uh, it could be near the fuel tank. Possibly I still have doubt because even if it was, that doesn't explain why the body control module is not on the network when the er error occurs. The BCM is the first thing. Well, that's one of the um, devices that goes down. So it makes me feel like there's a bad module that's causing this issue. This is a very strange one. Uh, I can't say that I've seen something happen like this before, uh, but um, I'm definitely going to get to the bottom of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug back in the ABS module and uh, and I'm going to have to, this, there's probably going to be a part two on this video. I'm going to have to have the customer call me back as soon as the problem occurs again. Because at this point, now that I've traced all the wiring and looked at the routes and verified all of that, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a module. So what I'm going to have to do is when the problem reoccurs, I'm going to be able to go down to the actual uh, box here um, and test the wiring um, with the ohm meter, I'm going to test and make sure that I can reach both resistors on both sides. I should still have, with it unplugged, you can just plug into the, you know, two pins and two pins, and you should get 120 ohms on each, you know, each of the two pins, right? So once they are together, you should end up with about 60 ohms, could be a little bit more. Um, so that's the test I'm going to do when the problem reoccurs. That's going to tell me if it's actually a physical problem or something. It's going to verify the leg or where, you know, the section I need to troubleshoot. Then the next step, if I do read that I'm not getting ohms, which I was not reading one side from the port here at first, I'm going to go down to the ABS module here and I'm going to pull off the connector. And it's basically almost a replication of how it is here, except it's for the front part of the harness that goes to this harness and then the rear part that goes to the fuel pump control module in the back. So I'm going to be able to test one leg and one leg and see if I can um, communicate back this way or if I can see the resistor at the end. And by the way, on this Silverado, the resistor is located a little bit different. I did a previous video on this. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to show you where the resistor is on this. So we're at the back of the truck. I'm going to go under. And there is the fuel pump control module. This is where the spare tire would be. No spare on this car right now. Um, but if you look on the wiring harness, you follow that blue cable and you see that taped up there right there. I have a previous video on this. Uh, it shows you how to test it and everything, but that is gonna be your resistor. It's taped, so you would untape it and then you can test that resistor. You should get, if you test it directly, just run, uh, your ohm reader across the two pins, you should get 120 ohms to show that's a good resistor. I am reading uh, 60 plus ohms right now. Um, so I actually, I'm gonna do a test at the uh, ABS section because I've already got it disconnected to see what I'm reading right now. 
and I'll be back with you. All right, guys, back under the car, you can see that's the front door. Uh, there's the har wire harness, by the way. It snakes around there. If you've got any issues, it's always good to inspect all of this. This is all original and it's really well done and no issues here. I checked all of this wire harness going down. Anyway, here's where the ABS module is under the frame and I went ahead and pulled the connector. Sorry about that. Went ahead and pulled the connector out and you can see in there everything looks fine and here is the connector and you saw the diagram so our communication lines are going to be uh, the uh, two on this side and then the two right here in the middle so those are the two so i'm going to test those um and see what i got i should get uh 60 ohms going that way back to the um junction block and also 60 ohms ohms back to the uh re um resistor right here in line so actually my bad it should be 120 ohms in each way 120 going back and 120 going to the front front and back uh, when they're together is when they come out to 60 ohms. So I'm going to test this real quick and I'll be back. When you're testing uh, for ohms, you need to make sure you got like your key out. You don't want to have any power at all. That will throw off your readings. And I do this little trick when I want to, if I don't want to disassemble a connector and probe in directly, I just use some little wire like this and I can just stick it in there. And you got to be careful because you don't want to use anything that's going to spread open the connectors then you're going to have a bad connection when you plug that in back to your device and then on this end i'll connect my uh leads to test it all right guys i went ahead and pulled off the cover because i saw something strange and this model is actually a little different than the first diagram so you've probably seen the correct diagram for this actual abs pump and i'm seeing something strange here I'm getting 176.2 ohms so that is not normal um should be 120 so I'll be back with you. Okay guys, back under the truck on the rear. I went ahead and pulled out the resistor. Uh, there you, there it is, that's what it looks like. And there's the plug for it. Uh, Cause that reading, that is 176, is coming from this resistor at the rear. So those last two pins come, basically, there's the um, wiring harness, right? It goes there, snakes, it goes, you see that next to the fuel tank? and it reaches right over there near in that area is where the abs uh, module is so from there to this resistor was reading 176 ohms i pulled the resistor off and connected it directly uh tested it right here and i got 120 ohms which is what it's supposed to be so that means uh there's going to be some damage in the wiring harness from here to that abs module somewhere between probably by this fuel tank so uh i'm gonna get with the customer it's gonna be it's probably gonna be additional because this fuel tank might have to be moved to inspect it really well so um uh, i'm gonna continue with this video a little later all right guys um customer decided that he wanted to continue so there's gonna be a part two of this video uh we're gonna drop the tank and i'm gonna inspect the wiring between the tank and the abs and that resistor and see if we see any damage um i suspect we might uh definitely see something there so watch out for part two like and subscribe